I'm gonna teach you all about manipulating field recordings and club music. Let's hear the air horn sample. Dog bark sample. I'm Unique, AKA the club queen. Repping Jersey to the fullest. I'm a DJ, producer, and vocalist. And my signature sound is Jersey Club. Jersey Club was birthed in Newark, New Jersey. It was called Brick City Club at the beginning. And as a creator, DJ Tamil kept going around the tri-state and the genre grew, it just birthed into being Jersey Club so that everybody that didn't live in Newark can embrace the genre. Jersey Club is all about sampling. If you know you have a very interesting day ahead of you and you're going to be around some new sounds, uh, new environment, new sounds, or new people, you should definitely take your task cam with you and have a little fun. Earlier today, I went around my neighborhood and I recorded sounds on this task cam. I'm gonna take these sounds from outside and incorporate them into my club tracks. So the first recording that I have is a sound of a horn from a basketball game I went to. Let's have a listen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a pattern out of this. I'm gonna lay it out in arrangement mode and copy and paste the sound, just like that. And then over here, I copy and pasted the pattern as well. But this time I highlighted it and I pitched it up so we could give the sound some dynamic. All right, let's see how this sounds. The full pattern. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a clap just so we could get a groove going, okay? Okay. It's definitely coming along. Crazy how cool a basketball horn could sound. Okay, so let's add in another field recording. This one is from a dog. I was walking, I saw a stray dog, it scared me, it barked really loud, but I recorded it. So <laughs> let's see how this sounds. Whoa. Did you hear what I went through? <laughs> so I'm going to take this sample of the dog and I'm actually going to shorten it. I'm going to manipulate it and I'm going to chop it down so that all you hear is the first bark, okay? So that sounds dope. All right, I'm probably going to play the loop and mess around with this. You know, we're all about finding the groove, so has to complement the other field recording samples that I'm using in this. Let's chop it down a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna copy and paste this pattern. Let's take this dog bark too. Guess we'll be working with the with the dog barks today, the dog bark samples. Okay, so now we're gonna take this sample and we're gonna chop it up as well. See how this sounds, see if it sounds cool. Producer tip I would give to everybody is that it is okay to make mistakes. Sometimes mistakes could sound like the illest loop ever. Yeah, it's giving me like, it's gonna be like a hard, heavy hitting track. Ooh, I kind of like how that sounds. Okay, so let's repeat this pattern. And this is an FX noise that I recorded from a motorcycle. It's warming up and they are out on their bikes getting down all around town. So I had to snag a recording of that. This will just be for background noise purposes. I don't really think I'm going to head and chop up this sample. Now all we need to do is add a kick and we love those. So let's go into my club head kit on splice and find a kick that we could work with to complete this loop. Okay, so here I made a pattern with my kick using my club head kit. 
Let's take a listen. Let's hear it with the clap. Let's hear the air horn sample. I always think it's really dope that you can incorporate your everyday life into your music. I feel like it personalizes it to your sound. You'll have sounds that nobody else can obtain because you made them yourself. Yeah, there we go. Definitely sounds like it's getting, it's, it's almost there. Yeah, so we have our air horn sample that I pitched up to give it a different effect, accompanied by a dog bark. We also have our motorcycle giving us some ambiance in the background, accompanied by my kick for my club head kit and a clap. All right, let's take a listen. Let me show you how to EQ your field recordings. I got my EQ8 here. I'm gonna drag it onto the channel on this channel right here with the horn. I have it singled out so you can hear it by itself. Let's take a listen. You could definitely tell that it's a field recording. So let's drag this EQ8 on here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the first point right here. I'm gonna change it so that it's down and I'm gonna drag it over to the right, probably to about 100. I don't wanna eliminate too much bass, but I do want my sample to sound just like a horn. No background noise, nothing. So let's hear how it sounds now that we've done that. It definitely sounds there we go. You can hear the difference. You can even like, cue it a little bit more. So we get that really eh. The uh uh. <laughs> okay, let's hear it with the song. It sounds so bland before the EQ. Now let's hear it with the EQ. Definitely makes it more lively. You can hear more of the horn. Now, when you EQ a track, there's honestly a few rules, but not too many rules for you to feel like you shouldn't explore how you want your sound to sound. I would definitely suggest that you take the time to listen because EQing a sample, any sample, whether it's a vocal or a field recording in this case, it's definitely something you have to judge by ear. As a producer, we're usually working with the same sounds, the same loops. This is a way to make your music stand apart from all the rest. This is a way to level up your production and get creative with your surroundings. So there we have it. I hope that this lesson today helps guide you in using field recordings in your club music.